One day my love will come And I'll be glad that you let me go He'll see the light in me I'll smile and he'll just Welcome know Welcome to the 4 Minute Podcast. I'm Anthony CK and I am here today with Cat Parsons. Cat is on tour in New York City. We're in the Diodario studio space in New York, so many thanks to Diodario and to Rico Reads. And if you're watching this video, you are watching it on Musikin and Musikin.com. It's M-U-S-I-C-K-I-N. Musikin is a uh, social community for music, and I encourage you to check them out, and I encourage you to check out Cat's music on Musikin and on catparsonsmusic.com. Yeah, and again, thank you to the good people at Rico and Diodario for allowing us to use this space today. Yeah, it's so, awesome space. Welcome, Kat. Welcome thank to New York. You. Thank you. I love so being here. I filter. think the last time we sat down together, uh -huh. we talked a little bit about where you're from and uh, your kind of your life and your, your travels, which have been many, uh -huh. going around playing music. Yeah. And now you're in New York and we're here in person. We, <sighs> yeah. So... You played a show at the Bitter End, and you did a little bit of the piano, a little bit of the uh, guitar work. Uh huh. Played some new music. Uh huh. Um, how has the new album been doing? Great, great. It's um, so it's an EP, so it's mm -hmm. which means that it's five songs. It's called Talk to Me. Talk to, Talk me. to me. Yeah, and um, I'm releasing a series of three this year, mm -hmm. and it's been really fun because they're like. Um, I think feel like they're like little bullets. Although now that I'm saying that, I hate to use a reference to violence. <laughs> so it's it's been fun because they all kind of have a different feel to them, mm -hmm. um, and it's been really fun to release this one because there's such it opens with such a pop anthem and kind of goes into more of my singer songwriter what I, a lot of what I do live mm -hmm. and talks about a lot of stuff that's really important to me and things that are really um, relevant mm -hmm. to. To, to life and to kind of different um, struggles and places that I've heard other people um, in my world talk about. So it's been, it's been kind of fun to be able to have uh, a way to express this and then be able to express something else in a whole nother, in a whole nother way with the other EPs mm -hmm. and, and in a different vibe. Have you started recording the other EPs? Mm -hmm. Oh, so we have... We have uh, some progress. Yeah. Are you, is this what you're working on with the songs with your brother? No, um, the songs, I, I've done songs with my brother kind of separately. Like we just played, we've played live, um, we just played live in LA a few times mm -hmm. and uh, we've played music all of our lives. Um, both of my parents were musicians, are musicians. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I'm going to visit my grandparents in just a couple of days. They're musicians, um, so music has kind of always been a part of my family. And so John and I have played together ever since, you know, we we were growing up in the family. We sang together and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But with um, my original music, we've played together over the last several years, and our paths kind of have gone like that. And now we're both in LA together, which is really awesome. And we just recorded one of his songs that's just beautiful, um, and and then we're doing kind of some other spare kind of pared down kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun to get to do that with him. And there's something I think really special about getting to share music with someone who you know so well, yeah. and who knows you so well, and has seen you kind of grow up. So I've been playing with this drummer, Christian Coleman, for about I guess three years now, and. That's obviously not nearly as long as you and your brother have been playing together, but you do develop some sort of uh, an internal rapport that yeah. you know the other person and you know what they're going to do. And I think you can't really get to a place musically where you're making any anything meaningful if you're not yeah like having it like as your little as your 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 uh, your title is talk to me. If you're not talking to one another, right? You're not saying. I mean, though I guess the whole point of playing music is to say something and to make some larger. Uh, on a most grandiose level, make some larger ethereal message for 
the universe with yeah. it and on a more basic level to make a conversation between two people speaking a language mm -hmm. other than one spoken with your mouth. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, especially knowing people and knowing them um, musically, there's a depth of connection that can only come from, from well, from music yeah. and from knowing each other and seeing, like, where are they going to go with this? You know, he can see where you're going to take the saxophone solo. Mm -hmm. He can read your cues, your body cues, you know, not the actual cues that you're trying to give him, but he can just read your, you know, musical style and knows where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and he'll go there with you. And I think that's really special. And, um, we're really lucky as musicians to get to communicate that way and be with each other in that way. Yeah. So one of the things I want to talk about is music in, which is, if you're watching this, it's what you're watching right now. And uh, the, the thrust of music in is that it's a website where people can connect over music, connect musically on an emotional, visceral level. And I think that that's something that's really powerful for audiences to do and for... Yeah. I love that. Us as performers to do too. Yeah. And I, I mean music, like, you know, like we were just talking about, music is such a um, universal, universal language and mm -hmm. it is such a deep connection, you know, it, it is, it expresses itself in ways we can't explain. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to, to tell our story without having to come up with the exact words mm -hmm. and there's so much universality in that. Well, except that you have to come up with the exact words because you're singing and playing at the same <laughs> That's time. True. So you know, when was the first time that you really felt like language. you um, you connected musically with something that wasn't like, like if you grew up playing music and you grew mm -hmm. up kind of like living um, in a musical lifestyle like you did or I grew up listening to music and was really mm -hmm. into music but I think the first real individuation I did from my parents' music and from music that I had grown up listening to was when I heard like the Pixies play mm, and heard that's cool. bands like the Dream Syndicate and uh, the Sonic Youth and then later, well, it, like basically everything that led into the alt rock scene in the '90s. Like it just blew my mind because I had heard Elvis and he blew my mind initially. Like ah. I just heard it on the radio, independently of my parents, and was totally into Elvis. Then I heard, like, you know, I got Guns N' Roses and uh -huh. Me Too, but then I heard this raw thing that was the Pixies, and mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I didn't know that those rules were in play, I didn't know you could do any of that, and that changed for me, really, the oh, communal experience of music. What about you? Um, you know, I would say in my house, um, there was a lot of classical music, um, the, the music that I remember most was the soundtrack for West Side Story and being delighted as a child because there's a song, um, Officer Krupke, and in that song they say, Krupp you! And we were just like, as kids, we were like, oh my gosh, you can say Krupp you and you won't get in trouble if you're singing along with the song. And so we were like, my brother and I were so excited mm. about that song and what it allowed us yeah. to say. Um, so I, I actually, the, I, West Side Story is actually one of my favorite soundtracks. Um, there is just heart-wrenching, beautiful music in that, and I think, I think that kind of um, just tugged at me. And that uh, I don't remember, you know, a particular moment, but I just know that that soundtrack really tugged at my heart, mm. and also some arias um, really tugged at my heart. Um, it's been a fun thing. The cat, if people want to get to you online, how can they do that? Um, catparsonsmusic.com and it's K A T. Um, so you can find Cat online at catparsons.com. That's Cat, cat with Parsons a K. Catparsons Music. Catparsonsmusic.com. Yeah, and you can get a free song. You can download a free song when you sign up um, for the email list. You get a free song. So I'm really excited to be able to do that. And that's um, for this new EP. Um, if you want to be on Musicin and you're listening uh, on page for music, go to musicin.com. That's M U S I C dash. 
almost I misspelled music, K-I-N <laughs> dot com, that's musiccan.com with a dash in the middle, and uh, sign up for it, you can just connect with your Facebook profile, it's super easy to do, I encourage you to get on there, and cool. uh, make it a part of your daily routine, just checking sure. in, and participate in the conversation that is happening on Music yeah, great way to stay connected to music and learn about new stuff. Yeah, yes. speaking of, if you haven't heard Anthony C.K.'s beautiful playing, yeah, where did should, I hear that? You can go to, uh, actually you can go to Page for Music and if you click on my name on the drop down, uh -huh. uh, there's links to all sorts of things that I Yeah, because Musickin did a cool video for you, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. Cool, so you're on Musickin and I'm Page on Musickin music. and you can find me on Page for Music and I encourage you to do both. <laughs> and uh, I encourage you to check out the various products by Dia Dario and thank you again to them for uh, putting this all together. So, for Cat Parsons, for the good people at Diodario and Rico Reads and Musicin, thank you for watching and listening to the Page 4 Music Podcast. <laughs>